when you focus on the breath, you can ask yourself, what would be the best breath to breathe right now? The mind is always making choices, but usually it's making choices about other things. And as far as your breathing, that's left on automatic pilot. Somebody way down in the bureaucracy is making that decision. And you want to bring it up to the top. Because after all, we are fabricating a path here. It's something you put together. You use your intentions to develop everything from a right view all the way to a right concentration. So you want to bring these choices up into the light of air so you can see what you're doing. This is one of the Buddha's most important teachings, is that what we're experiencing right now is a combination of past actions and present actions. And the best way to see that is to experiment with your present actions. You really can see that you can make a difference. There are a group of Jain monks one time who were practicing austerities, and they claimed that all their austerities were doing, they were just burning off past karma. And, had, and the Buddha said, have you ever noticed when you do your austerities it hurts more than when you don't? In other words, okay, the choices you're making right now, what to do, that will really have a huge impact on what you're going to experience. And if you're not paying attention to that, you don't really see anything. So you have to see, oh, this is what I'm doing right now. And if I change it this way, it goes in a good direction. If I change it another way, it goes another direction. But you've got the choice. You learn from experimenting like this. So don't be afraid to experiment. You're not getting in the way of seeing reality, you're actually seeing the constructed nature of your experience. And then you can begin to see, well, how am I constructing in a way that's leading to stress? And how can I construct in a way that leads away from stress? Again, the way away from stress is something that's also fabricated. The only time you hit the unfabricated is when you gain awakening. And if you don't realize that along the path, then you're going to miss a lot of things. So always be clear that, okay, yes, you are fabricating, and you want to do it in a skillful way. Because it's only when you get really skillful at it that you can see all the way through it. It's at like anything. It's only when you're really skilled at a particular activity that you really understand it. You can look at it from the outside and you can see what you like and don't like about what other people do, but you don't really know what it's like until you've done it yourself. And this is how you learn, sitting here with your breath. So bring these decisions up into the light of the day. Don't hide them away. Pretend that you're not making these decisions. It's only when things come up to the surface that you can see them, and then when, only when you can see them can you do something about them, get beyond them. So this activity of changing the breath, experimenting breath, is a very important part of developing discernment, together with tranquility. It's just when the two of them are working together, that's when you really see things and can let go. Tranquility helps get let go of passion, discernment lets go of ignorance. So when you've got them both working together, that's when the mind can really be free.